Queen Elizabeth's longtime friend and lady-in-waiting has passed away. Diana Maxwell, Lady Farnham, has died at the age of 90 on December 29th, according to the Times. Lady Farnham had served as the monarch's Lady of the Bedchamber for 34 years, starting back in 1987. The Queen's former press secretary, Dickie Arbiter, spoke out on social media about her death, writing on Twitter, quote, I am very saddened to hear of the passing of friend and former colleague, Lady Diana Farnham. Everyone loved Diana. She was good humored and very glamorous. It'll be sad for the Queen too, having lost now two friends in the space of a month, the Duchess of Grafton and now Diana. Lady Farnham's death comes within the same month that another lady-in-waiting of the Queen's passed away. Anne Dowager, Duchess of Grafton, who had served the royal since 1967, died at the age of 101 on December 3rd, per the Times. The news of Lady Farnham's death come as the Queen marked her first Christmas and New Year's following the death of her husband, Prince Philip, who died at the age of 99 in April. The Queen spent the holidays at Windsor Castle, foregoing her traditional holiday plans of celebrating at Sandringham due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The last time the royal family celebrated there was back in 2019. The previous year has had a lot of ups and downs for the royal family. Access Hollywood took a look back at how the British royals coped with such a tumultuous 2021 while speaking with Daily Mail editor Charlie Langston. It has been quite a year for the royal family. I think turbulent, difficult, emotional, sad. There are so many things that can be talked about. There are so many difficult times that they have been through. Um, the loss of Prince Philip was an incredibly sad moment for everyone in the royal family. Um, there has been happiness with the birth of Meghan and Harry's daughter Lilibet. And then there has been scandal with, you know, Harry and Meghan's sensational interview with Oprah. So they really have been through anything and everything that could possibly have been thrown their way. And I think they have, as a result, been thrust even more into the public eye than they ever have been before, not just in the UK, but around the world, which, you know, thanks to social media and so on and so forth, has really seen them face more speculation and scrutiny than they've ever had to.